Okay, in this video, I'll just do a walk around in the next level racing GT light. I have this seat, this cushion, as Lydell calls it, on the GT light because this fabric is very hard, and there's, there's a, the only cushioning is this, but it's not really cushioning because. I literally sit in between the two of these so I don't sit against these at all in my opinion they should have cushioning the whole way up the seat and down here because this is uh, this is like sitting on a wooden chair it's really hard there's no cushioning in the whole thing at all this is very thin I've um, cushioning on this. This was only 8 euros in uh, Lidl. And it helps a tiny bit. But this seat is very uncomfortable. And this is one of the reasons why. Because there's, there's no lumbar support. And with the way this curls like that. You're sitting f hunched forward. A little bit so after a short while you get very uncomfortable and then there's these things to hold the back of the seat back they're not much good there they, they come off very easy like that look they're supposed to stop the seat going forward or from going from back going backwards but as you can see that that falls off when I was putting this bit on from there down to there comes separate in, in the box you have to slide that into here but when I got this this part in the back was too wide and it took me about half an hour to get that in because it was wicked hard to get in there even even when I got it in that much into here, when I sat in the seat and put on my whole weight in it, it wouldn't slide up into it. I literally had to take it out of it and rub rub soap on the thing to get it to slide up, and it took a lot of effort to get it in there. Oh, and this bolt doesn't belong in there. The, the nut fell off of this one. I have the, the, the bolt for it over on the table. But the, the nut fell off this. And I didn't realise the other day when I was taking it out. So I took this off of the shifter side and put it in there. For now, you can put it back in there and later on. But this is handy. You could put a butt kicker on that. Oh yeah. Another thing here. There's a, I don't know if you can see it here, but there's, there's um, a just, there's bits here where you can set it to different heights. So I have it set at the highest level here. And the same on this side. There's different heights you can set this one to. This bit. That sticks out a mile. I got this because I had a, a wheel stand before this and I used to fold it up. And I measured this because the measurements on, on the website gives you the width of the seat. So the width of the seat is what they give you the measurement for, not out to here. So I, I measured where I was putting my seat, my uh, wheel stand before I had this to store it. Because I don't have enough space for a full size cockpit. So I needed something to fold up. And then I realised these bits stick out very far. So so that was a, a few inches too wide for, my, for where I stored it. So I have to, so I have to store it sideways. It takes up way too, spa too much space. And then when the whole lot is folded up. When it's folded flat, see, to fold it flat, you fold the pedals up 
against the seat. Then you fold that backwards. And what I do, what I was, what I do to do that is, I keep these pegs on here and put the seat lying up, lying up, up like that. So that it's sitting up, and then this is wicked hard to do because because of the way this is built because that when you on when you loosen that the leg gets loose and this gets loose so you have to you have to um try and get this folded backwards let me re rewind this first you put this leg back under here then you put the pedals up against that and while they're up against that then you take you loosen that out and you pull it across. Pull this out when it's open. Uh, you do that and that. You pull that across like that. When you're folding, when you're folding it up, and then you push that down over the pedals, and then you pull pull this bit down so that you can clamp this back onto here. It's hard to do one-handed. And you clamp that up again and then you fold this seat back over here and then you use the strap that comes in the packet to hold the pedals up so that they won't be flopping everywhere and that then you and then you uh, put it away but the thing is when it's fully folded up it's no smaller than when my wheel stand was fully fully opened out so it's a very big uh, cockpit thing. It's not very comfortable. And it's very hard to fold up because of the way it's built. I, I have this thing with five months and I've grown to hate the damn thing. I've, I've actually started leaving it out because it's too much hassle to fold it up again. They, they over-engineered the thing very hard very uncomfortable this bit here what they should have done here is put a bar across back here and had the fabric back there and then have a little bit of lumbar support back here and even a, even a light cushioning would have helped there's a bit of cushioning here all right to stop your hurting your legs but and up here but other than that that's the only, the only cushioning as well as this. But sure, that's only to bolster you into the middle. Unless you're very big, which I'm not. I don't see the up against that. And the, the, um, this thing was on one channel. He said this was very loose on him. I can't remember the name of the channel, but I was watching it last night. He said his wheel was very, very loose, but this... It's not loose at all, look. The chair is literally moving. That's solid under. And while racing, I don't really notice any movement. What they do recommend, there's a strap that comes in it that holds the whole lot together in the box. What they recommend is, when you when you get into the seat and put it like this, you don't, first you open this a little bit, if I can get it done. You, hold it, you, you put it like that a little bit, just a little bit. And then you tighten that up when you're sitting in the seat. You tighten this Velcro strap up. And then you clamp this closed. And then use the strap that comes with it. Put it from here all the way down to the, under the leg. Back up and around and then tighten it. Stop this moving it and stop the wheelbase moving around. But it, what I've noticed when, when I do tighten that, when this is open, a small bit like that, when that's tightened fully, then I close that. 
I don't really notice any movement on the on the, uh, the thing the steering wheel. Another complaint I've seen on Reddit is one guy tried to persuade me that when you when you have brake hard that this falls out. But as you can see, if that leg falls out this way, then then you just what you can do is go, it's broken because there's 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 no movement in that. That's that's uh, bent metal. That doesn't move at all. I can't really show you, can I? See, there's no. You can't adjust that. That's at that angle. Solid. It's just, just a bar up there, and the bar is bent here for the leg. So if that bends out, then you're fucked. Because, uh, because that then that's that's bent out, and you you won't be unless you're you have some metal working. Then you can't fix it because that that's going to be broken. Oh. oh yeah, and I've used cable ties to tie to the cables here, here, and uh, I did have one here, another one down here, and then when I'm, my pedals plug in over there, when I'm using the PlayStation, so what I do is I put the two, the power cable underneath here, I put it underneath there. And across, so they won't be going under my feet. So that's your next level racing GT Lite. In my opinion, if you're looking for a foldable cockpit, I would not suggest this. It's very uncomfortable. It's a nightmare to fold up and uh, fold up when you w or don't want to use it anymore, and it's just as much of a nightmare to put it and put out again. I've had enough of this thing, so I've ordered a PlayStation Challenge. I don't need a seat that wide anyway, because I'm not that big, and it takes up a whole lot of space. So if you, if you very little space and you're looking for something to store away when you're not using it this isn't for you because this is very wide the seat is very very wide and then when it's all folded up it's not really that compact I have a little house and I don't have any space for a full cockpit as I said so I had to get something like this, and I thought that this would be great, but it's not. It's very, very uncomfortable. It's over-engineered. You can, you can see, even on this side, it's sticking out a mile. If they, if they weren't so wide, and they narrowed the seat by about an inch or two, <coughs> it'd be golden. I, oh yeah, and this part, down here, push this back, down the corner here, put a bar across here, back here, to pull the fabric back, and a little bit of lumbar support back here, for your back. I don't think this is necessary up here either, but anyway, if they've done that, and the small, just the small, one or two millimetre of, of cushioning on the whole thing. And make it easier to fold up and, and take out again. It would be a much better product. But I'm done with it now. I'm going to try and use this. Somehow I'm going to try and use this. If I get some, if these... These won't tighten onto the PC challenge. I'll get little rubber gaskets or something for it. Or uh, 
some duct tape inside it to make it a little bit wider to clamp down onto the plastic challenge then I'll use this instead of what comes with the plastic challenge another complaint people have these are load cell brakes and I've the hardest uh, springs on it and if you do brake hard this, this this front leg will lift up off the ground if you push really hard. But you have to really, really <laughs> reef on the pedal for it to lift up hard. I mean, I can press press that as down into the the bottom. And the only way the seat lift up is if I really press hard and press the pedals down farther than the stop on it. I don't have them down here because I only done that for the last video to show how to adjust this. They're usually up further to the back. So there you go. That's my view on the place he challenge. Do you know what I didn't I just realized I didn't show how this works. Let me see now. Can I do it? Uh, there we go. That tightens on there and you can adjust the angle of the, the wheel if you need to. And that's solid. That doesn't move at all. So there you go. I'll end the video there. I know it's not professionally done and it's only done on my phone. I said I'd do it months ago in one of the comments on one of my videos and in the summer it just got way too hot I didn't want to do, want to do anything in the last few weeks since it's cooled down again I've just been too bloody lazy so I've tried to show you as much as I can about this Hopefully it helps some bit because most videos I've seen they don't show this bit where you can adjust the height of this this thing. You probably can see it better here because the lighting's better. You can see the holes there and there and then up there I have this as the highest level. It's as high as it goes, I think there's only three there. And then on this side there's even more, it goes even higher. But then if you put it down there, you'll be pointing up at the moon lead. You'll be pointing at some angle. I had that at the second one and but then I realised just before I done the video that one side was one notch lower than the other was like, how the hell did that happen? <coughs> Don't get me wrong, it's a very well made sturdy cockpit but it's got lots of flaws and I would not recommend it and next level of racing probably won't like this video I did give him suggestions for that for this to put the bar back here to pull this, this fabric down here because it's solid there's no movement in that it's wicked uncomfortable very hard it kind of feels like sitting on a wooden chair I did give them feedback to do this and I did give them did tell them they should make um, attachable cushion, cushioning for it where they could put the stra velcro straps around here Another one here, another one here, another velcro around here here somewhere, and another one here to hold on to the cushioning on here to make it a little bit more comfortable. But this bit I'm so done with this lead. It makes it so difficult. It's just very frustrating. Takes me about 10 or 15 minutes just to fold it and unfold it every time because of this. Because of they should have made the steering wheel part separate to the to the leg because that just makes it more fr frustrating. 
because when it's lying back then the way I, I try to do it with this lying back these hold it so the, the it stays folded out like that but then this falls backwards and the, and the pedals make make it hard to fold the leg in so it, it's just a, a pain anyway enough of my ranting That's that's the next level racing wheel stand, wheel cockpit thing. It's it's all right. It's not worth the money I paid for it. Here here's me signing out with the next level racing GT light cockpit. The view is small. Look at the back of it. Have a nice day. Goodbye.